Hello, this is William. In today's video, we're going to show you how to burn a CD or DVD with VLC player. So, you know the VLC player? You know, it's kind of like, it's just the same thing like Windows Media Player. i show you how to burn a CD with Windows Media Player. But, but this time it's going to, this time I'm going to do the video of how to use it in VLC. It's going to turn the brightness up. Alright, but what you're gonna do in VLC player, the VLC player does not support burning CDs because the VLC is just a player. But once you click on media, you click open file folder or open disk, it's up to you. So what, you do, what you're gonna do is you click on media. So once you see on the screen, you click on media. Hold on, focus. There we go. Focus camera. Come on, why is the camera not? There we go. Oh wait, there we go. What you do is you click on media. If there you click open file, open folder, open multiple files, open disk. It's up to you. But what you're gonna see, we have an audio CD D right here. That's the drive. To this device right here, it's audio CD, but this is a CD RW disc. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on open media, but like if you have a playlist that's empty, once you click the play button, it will show you, it will op open up the little screen that tell you which media that like which you like to play. But in order to burn to your disc, you just click. On file or disk or right here, network or hit your device or something like that. But but I'm but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click file or disk. It's up to you. But I'm gonna choose disk. So once you see audio CD, you click the browse button. Say so click browse. And it's gonna open up in File Explorer right here. And what you're gonna do is you go to this PC and DVD, and then you see DVD or W Drive D Audio CD. So, it's gonna erase this disk because on CD or Ws, I don't know why, how this can uh, erase this disk. I never used it yet. I, I never have a laptop that I can do that. Yep. But you can hear the disk drive detecting. It's initializing. I don't know if how can this do that. Yep. Estimated time, 30 seconds left. Alright. But now, what you're gonna see is, it says 702 megabytes, 3 is 702. But what you do is you click on the DVD drive section, and now it's gonna open up that little screen right there. It says, "Burn to disk." How do you want to use this disk? You could, you could even say like a USB flash drive or with a CD DVD player. I'm just gonna use CD DVD player this time, and then click next. And then it's going to say files ready to be written to the disk. So like we show on the screen that says you have files waiting. Or files waiting to be burned to disk. What it's going to do is you right click on the DVD drive icon. And then you click burn to disk. Yep. Recording speed. It's going to be on 10x. But then it says... And once it's that, and then you click next. Oh, this disk doesn't have enough space for all the selected files. Yep. So you need to have, like, if you have a disk that, that, that doesn't have enough storage, you, you need to delete some stuff in order to get it. So I'm just gonna delete this. Hold on. How can I delete it? Let's see. 
delete. Oh wait, hold on. Delete temporary files. So like if you have this, it's gonna delete your temporary files in your burn folder. So now let's try it. Unknown artist. And then it's gonna. And then it's gonna. Which you're gonna see. Send to. Right click. Send to. Let's see. Where is the DVD drive icon? Let's see. If I can open a new window. Copy. Okay. Drag the files in order to burn this disk. DVD FW drive. Alright. Upload all this to burn folder. Yep. Alright. I think I, I think I can save your media to my burn folder. We have to think. There we go. Files ready to be written to the disk. Alright. What you're gonna do is you click on the DVD drive, burn to disk, and then it's gonna say prepare the disk. Next, burn an audio CD. Alright, so burn an audio CD. Which format do you want to use? So I'm gonna make an audio CD and then click next. Alright, and then it's gonna open up your Windows Media Player to complete the burn folder for you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna it's calculating my disk. And then once it's that you click start burn. Start burn button. Alright, it's gonna say burning zero percent completed. Alright, Windows Media Player cannot burn the files. So, like on audio CDs, Windows Media Player lets you complete the burn for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna say DVD or WE drive and then click burn to disk. Alright. Close the wizard after the file has been burned. I'm gonna make a audio CD and then hit, hit next. Alright. It's burning your files to the disk. You can hear the drive activating for burning. Hold on, my ears just kind of stuffed up. And yeah, that's how you burn to a CD. You can hear it vibrating on the drive. The laptop itself is doing it. Estimated time, 30 seconds. Still going. Alright. Alright, it's finishing my disc. Alright, that's it. The disc is ready for use. I hope you enjoyed this video. And guys, I, I thank you. Appreciate it. Bye.